Hi, Poo Poo's. Nice Poo Queen of Cups Tarot. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome to the Poo Poo's Trap. So this is a new love reading. To see what's coming in for you, let's see um, how this person is going to be. Because, um, you know, everybody don't want to know, you know, they old booze or they old little things coming back towards them. Some, some people want new love. You feel me? So let's go on here and see what the cards got to say about new love for you. If you got somebody coming in towards you, um, what do you need to do for yourself to um, before this person comes towards you as well? Okay. Y'all know we got to start off with the sage. Y'all know that. Let's see. We got some new love. This is for Cancer, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Keep in mind, these are general messages. They may or may not resonate. If they do, great. If they don't, you can always book a personal reading with me to find out what your story is or check out your moon rising or your Venus sign. It's a general message. General, general, general. So let's start off. So, Universe Spirits and Guys, what message do you have for Cancer, Summer, Rising, and Venus to start off for new love for them? What do they need to know for the new love? y'all okay y'all good y'all good so we got life lessons that came out you can break free from reoccurring negative patterns by praying to know the lessons and blessings they contain so some of you guys need to clear your energy from past past people or you need to um learn your energy um i said learn your energy <laughs> learn lessons before you actually start before somebody actually start to come in so you don't repeat the same cycle and then we got at the bottom of the deck make sure Make time for self-care. Taking care of yourself is essential right now. So some of you might be, which is normal, cancers, you know, tend to care about or start taking care of other people before they start taking care of themselves. So make sure that you uh, are attracting self-love into yourself, taking care of yourself, so that new love can come in for you, okay? So, okay. Let's see. What else do you have for us, Spirit, about new love? Tell us about this person. Tell us about what's going to be going on with this new love that's coming towards Cancer. Or if Cancer is already dealing with somebody that's new, they came in their life. What, what, what do we need to know? What do Cancers need to know? Some of you guys, this is a blessing. And this person has a very loyal heart. So let's see. One more time. Some of you guys, this is a rebirth. It's like a rebirth in your love life. So this might be destined as well, okay? Yep, like I said, rebirth, regeneration. So let's see. So some of you guys, this person is a thinker and they are, they are only focused on the here and now what's going on between y'all. Some of you guys, this person is kind of like a little bit difficult to like open up. That's why fork in the road is very, uh, is at the bottom of the deck. But, uh, this is a person who thinks before they actually take action. So, uh, wait a minute. more anything else this is a masculine energy and this person could be kind of like wounded a little bit lost you might have to nurture this person because this person has been through a lot of um abandoned this person could have like abandonment issues so um that's why this person is kind of like thinking of the hearing now they kind of like if i overthink too much this person is an overthinker this could be an air sign libra gemini aquarius um this person is an overthinker so with them overthinking they could come up with scenarios of oh this is not going to work out so this person is only just thinking about here and now i'm just going ahead and just take my time 
Um, but this is a masculine energy. This person was let down a lot in past relationships. It could have been like in um, uh, family situations as well. But this person is... They need some type of love and um, nourishment. And I feel like you guys are definitely... Um, you might be fit for this person for that because cancers are nurturers. So this person might even need that before they actually take a... Uh, make a move move but this person is really a thinker we got two fives here we got 32 which is breaking down to five so they have the number five so change a lot of change this person is going through a lot of change some of you guys might be going through change as well, and you might be realizing what well, you might be trying to figure out. Well, what's really what's wrong with me? What's going What's going on with me? Some of you guys could be going through a transformation as well. So just keep that in mind. You might be mirroring each other. So tell us more, spirit. Tell us more about new love for cancer summer rising on venus this person could possibly pull back a lot as well or they could have recently just um got out of a situation with the person uh, with somebody or they just walked away from a situation <clears throat> so this person could they try not to think like you're like their ex or the person that did them um like like the person that uh hurt them before they're trying to think like differently so this person could like go by themselves and think a lot but at the same time they don't want to be too vulnerable or too emotional because they still got that masculine side You guys could be dealing with a Libra. So this person could possibly want things to grow. Um, or things could start growing between you. Yeah, you this person wish fulfillment. So this person take a lot of time to they self to like uh get more energy, but this person feels like this is something that's destined. They want you to be like patient with them. Some of you guys definitely could be dealing with a Libra or a Sagittarius. Yeah, this is a spiritual union. I kind of was getting that. This person just moved on from something. So you have to be a little bit patient with this person. This person want to grow. This person wants a brand new beginning in their love life. They do want things to grow. They do see some type of commitment that they do really want. But you're going to have to um, be patient with this person because this person needs to kind of get like more balanced a little bit. But this person, they they already acknowledge the... Um, they acknowledge this connection. And you're like a um, wish fulfillment for them. They might not even be telling you, but they feel this connection. They feel the spiritual connection between you and them. But this person sometimes um, take time to themselves because they still are waiting to like get their emotions together because they just walked away from something. They moving on emotionally still from something. They could still physically be in something, but just know they moving away from that. So you, it's going to take some patience. That's why um, the waiting game is here. Some of y'all could be dealing with another cancer as well. This person don't even realize that they manifested you because I just saw the chariot and the magician. This person got a lot of burdens on their back they are trying to get rid of this person is wanting change desperately but they're they working on their stuff yep so this person they could be a little bit confused when it come down to their emotions but they do have emotions they just don't express them how you would think this person is trying to get over the past um get over fear uh temptation bad habits old habits so let's see what else do you have yeah this person is fearful yeah so this person wants you to be patient with them because if you don't they afraid that you'll walk away from them
So they could have definitely made a decision to walk away from somebody who was kind of immature and who was very deceiving, very deceptive. They made a judgment call to get away from that. <clears throat> and this person, they kind of like have anxiety, even though they recognize this. this They're not telling you this. Even though they recognize this connection, they still deal with uh, what went on. So they want the balance and want to invest in this. But sometimes they need a break to themselves so they can try to kind of like recuperate to get their emotions back on track. They don't really want to pull you in that type of energy. This person feels that this is a soulmate connection. With the six of cups. Yeah. So what you don't know, this person... Oh, this person is growing into an emperor to get more stable. Oh, wow. Okay. So this could be an Aries that you're dealing with as well. Um, this person really want to learn more about you before they take this leap of faith. Oh, they're going... They want to take the leap of faith. They're going to take the leap of faith. But they still is, is learning some things about you. guys could be dealing with a Gemini so this person feel this connection some of y'all could be dealing with a Leo yeah they trying to knock this wall down that they have because because of past re past regret past resentment they trying to look at things from a different perspective with you to keep this to move this forward So this person, they be all, they and they, 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 this is a person that, yeah, is definitely an overthinker, like the wisdom of the Oracle uh, card came out. This is a person that overthinks and they can sometimes self-sabotage uh, things, even though they feel this connection, but they might still be self-sabotaging this just by overthinking. I feel like this person is, could possibly pre create scenarios this person is going through it they still got some healing to do yeah as i just said the star card came out they got some healing to do from this from this devil energy and they're trying to they actually doing the work on themselves this is this this is a destined type of connection though with the lovers and the two of cups Okay. But this person know they know what they need to change. When a person acknowledges what they need to change, that's 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 it. That's good. It's up to you if you're gonna help this person out or not. But like I said, yeah, they need to um kind of still get their ex energy out of their uh their system. Tell me more about this person. Yeah, express your love. So, eventually this person is going to open up. This person kind of is trying not to be closed off, but they know that they have to open up. They know they have to heal from this past energy and have to uh, stop self-sabotaging the connection. There's a lot of chemistry, yeah. Release your ex, past life relationship. There's a lot of chemistry between you and this person, or if this person haven't came in yet, it's going to be a lot of chemistry between you and this person. True love. So, yeah, this is destined. This person is trying, this person is keeping an open mind about this, and they find you highly attractive. Okay. Anything else before we... Anything else about this person for new love or cancer, something rising in Venus? Courtship. This person want a relationship, <laughs> but they know that they have to uh, still heal first. 
unexpected income so this person it could be uh, financial issues as well this person could also be waiting to uh for some money to come in with main female to come in to get away from this person so they could be more financially stable that's only for a few of you guys so let's see what, what this person what would what would they what do they really want to say what I'll just pull a few of these So if you guys have kids, this person feel like you're a wonderful parent. I admire your ability to bring out the best in others. So they feel like you bring out the best in them and you change their life. And I believe in you. So this person believes in you and they really appreciative that you believe in them. So what is the outcome between this person, Cancer, and this person, this new person? So full moon surrender to the divine came out. So just let this situation unfold how it's really supposed to unfold. Uh, this is some destiny sent from the universe. And the energy is gaining momentum. Waxing moon. And give me one more, please. You're going to get all the... Mm. Yep, there's a, um, adjustments that are required. So this person know that there are some changes that need to go on before they make the move of actually committing. And that is actually a great thing because you don't want to... Some people rush into situations that they know that they haven't healed from, but they still go into the situation even though that they haven't healed. And that's bringing all the bad baggage um, and a new connection. And it's, it's self-sabotaging. So... That's all the messages that I have for you guys. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. If you would like to book a personal reading with me, everything is down in the description box below. If you guys would like to uh, go over to my Instagram and hit that follow button, I would definitely appreciate you guys. You guys know I love you so, so much. Other than that, I love you guys, and I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, poo -poos.